Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm here in Peru right now. And I hope you're doing very well there. But I recorded this video as a solution for the riddle that I was posing you with the geographical points. So let's go over the solution. Okay, so the first one, A, or number one. That one is definitely a river, and you can see the mouth of the river. I think we talk about it in class. And that's the Amazon River, and that's the it's a delta. So you can see how the river actually splits in different sections uh, when it reaches the ocean, and that it's called a delta. So let's go over the second one, B. Number two, I think we go went over this one as well during class. Again, you have a whole bunch of islands spread over a vast territory. So that means that this is definitely an archipelago. You can see how the islands move from actually the peninsula of Alaska, almost touching Russia. That's an archipelago of islands. Let's try three. That's a large section of the ocean then actually goes inland. And in that view, you can see clearly how it's half of a circle. It's large, and it's not small, so that should be a gulf. So number three is a gulf. That's actually located in Vietnam. It's the Gulf of Tonkin in Vietnam. Let's try number four. Some of you have been here. It's a huge actually river that falls into a cliff forming cataracts or a waterfall. This is the Niagara Waterfalls or Niagara Cataract. So number four is waterfalls. Let's go with number five. Very known geographical feature. We don't have to say too much about it. This is Cape. It's a Cape, Cape Cod. So number five is a cape. Number six. This is a glacier. You can see pieces of the glacier coming down from the mountains. It's a large glacier in the Alps. And you can see how the snow is actually in movement going down the valley. So number seven. A chunk of ice in the middle of the ocean, one third of that is outside, two thirds under the ocean, so you call that an iceberg. Let's go to number eight. There's a big lake, it's Titicaca Lake between uh, Peru and Bolivia. It has an extension of 72 miles but it's a large body of fresh water inland. So number eight, it's a lake. Number nine, steep mountains, a river is running at the bottom. The river actually has created a huge trench. And when we have that formation, we definitely are in front of a canyon. Number nine is a canyon. Let's go number 10. No much to talk about it. You can see the northern part of Africa. So that's the Sahara Desert, which is the largest desert on planet Earth. Number 11. That's an island off the east coast of Africa. Probably you studied that in sixth grade. Is the island of Madagascar. So number 11, it's an island. Twelve. Snow, 
Steve Walls, that's Nepal actually, that's Mount Everest. So that's number 12, Mountain. Let's go to number 13. It looks like a volcano, but actually you can see how it's pretty flat. So um, you see the yellow in the back, that's sulfur. And so this is a geyser. Actually, it's a geyser that is in Yellowstone Park. It's a, an area of Yellowstone Park where you have several ice, uh, geysers coming, which is a steam water that bursts from um, the ground. 13 will be geysers. 14. Slopes, really gently slopes in a valley, so you are in front of hills. Number 14 are hills. Let's go with 15. Fifteen is a river. This, in this case, we have a river that is very, uh, looks very brown because it's a river in the Amazon, and it's actually carry a lot of mud from the shorelines of the uh, the jungle. Sixteen. That's a canal. That's a man-made canal. We talk about it in class. It's the Swiss Canal. And you can see how it's a straight, man-made. And it connects the Red Sea with the Mediterranean Sea. You can see some boats and uh, ferries crossing it. Number 16 will be a canal. Let's see P1. Actually, P1 is kind of a gift because I told you what it is. is the English channel. It's a channel. So we go to the next one. 17. Steep walls next to the shoreline. That's a cliff. 17, it's a cliff. Let's go to um, 18. You have several rivers uh, really close to the shoreline in the Indian Ocean. That's a flat plain. It has completely flooded and inundated by water. That's a flat plain. Let's try 19. We have no one mountain, but a series of mountains, like a um, link in a chain. So we are looking at a mountain range. These are uh, mountains that form a mountain range. Let's go with the next one. 20. This is one of the most difficult ones. Uh, it is one area where um, the land actually narrows. You can see it here and over here. So the area between the two oceans, this one and this one, is called an isthmus. It's an isthmus. So 20 is an isthmus. 21. That's a small gulf, and we said that in class, the small gulf got the name of uh, bays. So this is the bay, actually it's the Bay of San Francisco. Let's check 22. Several rivers surrounded by mountains. These are mountains here, all the way. Fresh water, you're in front of a basin. 22 is a basin. 23. That's a huge, it's not a cape, it's large. It's a portion of land that go inside of water, surrounded by water in three air, in three points, north, south, east, and then um, it's a peninsula. That's the actually the uh, Florida. That's the peninsula of Florida. Twenty-four. That uh, body of water that is salt, 
It's all full of salt, so it's not fresh water, it's salty, and it's connected to us to the ocean in some way. So we you are in front of a sea. This is the Black Sea actually in Europe. Let's go to the next one. Is that the one? Let me see. Yeah, 25. Two sections of land that almost touch each other were in front of the strait. A narrow passage of water, you're in front of a strait. This is the Strait of Gibraltar. It links the Mediterranean Sea with the Atlantic Ocean. That's the Strait of Gibraltar. Strait. Z or number uh, 26. I think it's 26. Sure. That's a valley. So we're in front of a valley, green with agriculture, crossing an extended plain. We're in front of valleys. Next one. That's a high elevation. You can see the smoke coming from the top. That's a volcano. And the last one. This is one of the most beautiful features on planet Earth. It's a plateau. It's a high plateau. You can see the elevation and flat on the top in Venezuela. The largest waterfall in the world is here. It's called Jump from the Angel or Angel's Fall Waterfall. But that's a plateau. Okay, so you have the 28 points. Just check all those with Mr. Hill and um, correct yourself and write down at the bottom of the page how many you have right. We'll review it when I come back. Thank you. See you Tuesday.